Hi, Leo. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. Okay, Leo. So in terms of awareness for the week, we have the Two of Cups and we have the Four of Pentacles. The Two of Cups, this is a beautiful card. We see the two dolphins meeting nose to nose above the water. The glowing aspect of this illustration, the Two Cups, and there's a real sense here. It's when two people maybe you're destined to meet or for whatever reason, the universe pulls you together and you find each other and it's like magical. It feels amazing. You are interested in them. You connect with them. There's equality. There's balance. There's seeing things eye to eye. And so it has the potential here to be a very important and significant and transformative relationship. So this possibility exists for some of you who are looking, who are interested in finding their mate. So what would I tell you? I would tell you to make sure that you put yourself out there, that you have opportunities to connect, to make connections, and to, um, you know, try to find the, the, the right balance in terms of the attraction, in terms of the spark. Now, for those that are happily married or happily with a partner, when we have relationships, it's about the emotional content. It's about how we express, how we feel for each other, how we interact, how we continue to develop intimacy and bonding. So this may be a, an encouragement for you this week to do something romantic, to do something that expresses how you feel, to be direct, to tell someone. If you love them, tell them, show them. So with this Two of Cups, beautiful opportunity for love and connection and a relationship, here's the Four of Pentacles. And so the Four of Pentacles, we see the woman, she's far from the castle. She's out in the field, like her own little private place. And she has her treasure chest and she has the key for her money and for her coins. And she's protective of that. And so she has found this little place for herself where she feels maybe safe and where she feels that she's not ready to give something up or that she's keeping a close eye on what she has. So you may be feeling that as you're putting yourself out there and meeting people or interacting, there's a part of you that maybe is holding on to yourself holding on to your emotions, holding on, keeping things status quo, just in case. Because we, we know that when we enter into relationships and when we're trying to build a relationship, we lay ourselves open, open for the possibility of getting hurt or disappointed. And that vulnerability can be a lot for some folks. And so, you know, there is a protective mode. And here's this holding, holding your chest, covering your chest, watching for what you have. And perhaps in time, as comfort builds and as trust builds, you'll be able to share this wealth, these coins, but really symbolically to share more of yourself. Wow. So in terms of guidance, We've been seeing a lot of the Ace of Wands this week. And here's the Ace of Cups. We have two powerful gifts or blessings from the universe looking down upon us and you and saying, here is the Ace of Wands. Go out there and manifest and create what you want. If it's a relationship, devote yourself and the energy it takes in order to make it happen. You have this powerful wand here, take hold of it and use it. Don't wait another day. Don't continue daydreaming or fantasizing. If you feel it, go for it. So that's what this is the opportunity for a new beginning. Here's the possibility for a new beginning for some of you. Then we have the Ace of Cups, which again, gift, blessing, possibility that the universe is putting in front of you saying, take advantage of this blessing. And here we see the cup overflowing with emotions, the beautiful 
brilliant sky and with the dove and the water below. And this is a sense of truly uh, allowing your, your emotions to, to, to come out, to release, to be expressed, to be shared. The potential of this Ace of Cups is to have great love and to have uh, delight and joy in all aspects of your relationships and in life. It's to bring happiness and joy and delight into your life. So Two of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, getting past this feeling of holding something back. Powerful cards here, powerful unions to be built for you. And I just will have to say, just a little plug here, that this is my wand of passion. That's what it's called, the passion wand. And uh, it's bringing out a lot of passion. So let's see what we have in terms of possible outcomes. So we have the Two of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Cups. And the Two of Pentacles, it's about finding balance. It's about juggling personal relationships, professional relationships, bills, money, everything. Everything, every day is, a, is the juggling day. It never really goes away. You always have to pay attention. You always have to try to juggle light and dark, you know, up and down, whatever it may be. And so... The balance, the balance of time put into relationships, the balance of time put into work, to put into dreams, into creation, into visualization, all up to you on how you're going to prioritize. And then we have the Ten of Cups. It's the jackpot of happiness for families. And I often like to think that between the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups, that this union results in a beautiful, happy and abundant family, a family that's counting its blessings, that has what it needs from the universe, love, real love, and consideration for each other, and the unity of coming together, of building a life together, of, of being together, of sharing. It's the ultimate when we're looking at the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. So, you know, this is simply a wonderful spread, Leo, that love is coming your way. Doesn't mean it's going to be tomorrow, but, you know, love is coming your way. Put yourself in positions or in a position to allow it to happen. Be receptive. Try to open up. And happiness is yours. And again, for those that are happy right now this is furtherance of that it's the continuance of happiness it's even better than it was before so let's see what we have in terms of an affirmation for the week gentleness be very gentle with yourself at this time surround yourself with gentle people situations and environments I like the word gentleness. I think it's important to feel gentle, to treat people gently. And finally, let's see what we have for love, since there's a lot of love happening here. Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Take the action. Take the Ace of Wands, and, you know, it's going to lead to beautiful things happening. So my Leo friends, this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week. I thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.